with nearly 600 five-star reviews, this firecracker ground chicken is definitely one of my most popular recipes of all time. I'm gonna show you how to make it today. We're gonna to start out with Swerve Brown Sugar, which is a non-glycemic, sugar-free brown sugar substitute. You can use regular dark brown sugar. You'll just add about 12 grams of carbs and 50 calories per serving. Then we're gonna add buffalo sauce. I like Frank's Red Hot. Any buffalo sauce will work here. And then rice vinegar or any vinegar. You got crushed red pepper flakes, a little bit of granulated garlic or garlic powder, ground ginger. You can use fresh garlic and ginger if you want. Just you'll whisk them straight into the sauce along with everything else. We got a little kosher salt and black pepper. That's it. So you want to whisk this sauce together until everything is smooth, and then we'll set it aside. Nothing fancy here. Then it's time to cook your chicken. I like to use a little bit of chili oil. It is a firecracker ground chicken. Let's add a little bit more heat. Why not? You can use olive oil or avocado oil if that's all you have. About a half tablespoon to a tablespoon will do. I'm using 92.8 ground chicken here, but I've used everything from 99% lean ground turkey to ground beef. And you could even use ground pork. Uh, whatever you use, we want to be sure and leave it alone once it's in the pan. And three to five minutes, maybe, depending on how hot your pan is. Just be sure you let that Maillard reaction occur. You get that golden brown crust there before you break it apart and fully cook. Once your ground chicken is fully cooked, it's time to add the sauce. Just pour it straight in and stir everything together. You want to leave it alone for maybe 30 to 60 seconds. What we're looking for here is for the swerve brown sugar or the dark brown sugar to start to caramelize on the bottom of the pan. Uh, this should be a dark red, rich color. Once you're there, get it off the heat, garnish with some scallions, toasted sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, a little extra chili oil, a chili crisp, serve with rice or cauliflower rice, and you're good to go.